morning. Welcome to another day in Tokyo. Yay. So we've made our way across the city to Tokyo Central. Yeah, I think this place is called like Chiyoda City and there's the big park and Imperial Palace which we're excited to go check out. Mm -hmm. But first guys, we've got to get ourselves some breakfast. I'm not going to lie, trying to get vegan breakfast in Tokyo isn't that easy. So we've ended up accepting that we just get vegan brunch here and there's a really nice noodle place so I'm going to get some ramen for breakfast. If you know any good breakfast spots in Tokyo for vegans, let us know in the comments. We would very much appreciate that. But let's eat. So this place, Tea's Tan Tan, is in quite a few stations around Tokyo. It's this fully vegan ramen place. You have to come inside the station to go to it, so if you haven't tapped in, you're going to have to. But I'm telling you guys, it's worth the extra money to come into the station for it because it is so good. Yeah, the ingredients are super fresh, definitely sets you up for the day. I really recommend it. Technically not breakfast food, it's brunch, but we've kind of just accepted that that's our life in Tokyo now. I mean, it's food, I'm in. I'm in. This food is so good. It really is. It's so literally sexy. like so good. Look at it. It's, <laughs> it's breakfast of champions. It's actually so delicious. We're gonna eat some food. We'll catch you in a sec. Yum. That's only like 6.50 for a bowl. I feel very full, very nourished, ready to go climb, hopefully. Are we climbing? Yeah, I think we should go climb, but I also really need a coffee. <laughs> So we've come to Imperial Palace. Obviously you can't get into the actual palace part because you know the guy lives there. But you can get into the East Gardens, so we're gonna go check it out. The okay. guy. The the important So respectful. Uh yeah, I don't remember his name, but the guy. <laughs> you got a map? I did get a map. Also, if you're coming here on Wednesdays and Saturdays, they run uh, free English guided tours, which is awesome. But it's Tuesday, so you're <laughs> just gonna have to listen to me read out information from this book. Look at the size of these stones. That either took a couple of very strong men or a lot of weak people to build. A wise one, bestow upon us your knowledge. I'm not gonna lie, I'm already confused, and this map looks really easy. What? To, really easy to follow, but then this map. What are we paying you for? This map's like a different map that's got me all confused. Anyway, I'm just gonna keep following this one and uh, hopefully we see all the good stuff. I want to do a full loopy doop, but don't want to miss anything, guys. So this is the third guardhouse we've walked past. So they clearly take protecting the emperor's land very seriously. Uh, we're going to go check out, there's a like tower thing that's called Mount Fuji View Keep. I'm not sure if we're allowed up in it, but we'll just try. There's some uh, low hanging fruit. What are they? I couldn't tell if they look like an apple or an orange because were they smooth or were they porous, but as I got up close, they're porous. So I think they're like some big grapefruity, It looks like an apple. Limey. I don't think so. I think if I touched it, it'd be porous, like okay. a citrus. They're also huge. Oh my word, oh my word. Billy, it's called Citrus Maxima. It's literally called Citrus Maxima. Am I a genius or like literally, am I a genius? Executed guess. I said it was a big citrus. What is it though? Is it grapefruit? Yeah, I think so. Oh my word, I can't believe that. Here's called. my hand. It's literally called Big Citrus. Hand for scale, and I have big hands. Okay, so I've just realized we're in the orchard, which is where there's like loads of fruit trees. So I'm gonna make Philly try and guess the names of fruit trees now that we all know I'm a genius. This one? Limacado. Um, or maybe it's called like Citrus Succulus. Oh, look, there's. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a troll. It's called Citrus Solcata. I think these ones are. Citrus mandarinus. I'm gonna say citrus satsumus. It's citrus kinokuni. Ki, ki no kuni. Ki. 
Okay, so this is Fujimi Yagura, which is the only three-story remaining tower from the original Edo Castle. It's called Mount Fuji Keep because you can see Mount Fuji from it. And that's all the info I've got. Thanks. Yeah. I think all of these bushes and rows is the tea garden. And I'm just like, do people come and pick all the tea for the emperor and all the fruit for the emperor? Like, is all of this stuff just for the emperor? I mean, that'd be pretty good to get like freshly. He just comes down leaves. and grabs an apple from the tree. <laughs> I mean, he'll have staff to do it for him. But yeah, I think these are all the tea trees, and then there's a defense thing in behind it. So let's go check it out. Fuji Mitamon is the only one that still stands from the 1600s. And you used to be able to see Fuji, only similar to everything here, that used to have a view of Fuji in the sea. You can't see it anymore because the city's built up so much. I reckon if you come here in spring, it'll be crazy beautiful. Because right now we're standing with cherry blossom, wait, what's it called? Not cherry, they're not cherry blossoms, they're bamboo. Yeah. So we're standing with bamboo garden on our right here and then cherry blossom island. Did you honestly think they were, they no, were cherry blossoms? I just got my orientation confused. <laughs> I forgot which way I was standing with the cherry blossoms over there. But you can't see them because obviously the cherry blossoms have all fallen. But I imagine that is divine in springtime. <laughs> you were talking to some lady. You were talking to somebody else? <laughs> I was telling her some cool facts that she didn't understand. I was literally just talking to her. I was like, that's pretty cool that the Great Fire in the 1600s, uh, well, not cool that it burnt this down, oh. but they were rebuilding this. This is the foundation for the main keep. And then they abandoned rebuilding the tower because they were like, actually, we're a peaceful nation. We don't need this type of structure anymore. So now this is just like almost symbolic of the fact that Japan's like, we don't need to fight wars. That's kind of cool. Uh, the real question is, did the lady appreciate the information? Um, probably not. And also, guys, if at any point I'm sharing misinformation here, correct me down in the comments. I love to know more about stuff or correct me if I'm ever wrong. But um, I, I think that's what I understand from it. Also, look at the size of these blocks. <laughs> like, look at this block. Look, here's my hand for scale. Like your hand's a terrible hand for scale because, guys, he's got the biggest hand in the world. Keely's hand for scale. He's There's got big Keely for scale. Hands. Peace. to say that I really like looking at stuff on paper maps I, like we've done two series before where we did paper maps only in Ireland and then in and Romania. you got us lost both times yeah and I just got us lost there you didn't see it on camera but I got us lost in a park that's a, pretty much a one-way system but my point is it makes you much more aware of your surroundings and I just really like it I like paper maps they're fun cool story She's a special breed. There's 47 different types of trees here that are all like beautifully pruned and they're symbolic of Japan's 47 prefectures, which we would call like regions or mm -hmm. something or districts, but that's what they're symbolic of, so that's cool. I, I didn't know. I was just making stuff up. The sign told me. It's crazy that there's this beautiful little wooden tea house here. It's surrounded by all these gorgeous trees, little garden stone ornaments, and then you pan around and there's huge sky rise buildings, but you feel like you're in this little like oasis, but the city's like right there. This is Nino Mado Garden, and it's just so beautifully manicured. Like the trees are gorgeous, the way they're placed, all these little bridges connecting the different ponds and the waterfall thing, all the beautifully like crafted plants and stuff. It's so aesthetic, it's so fish. beautiful, and I just love. I mean, obviously I know it'd be gorgeous in spring with flowers, but I love the changing colors of the leaves in autumn. Mm -hmm. And I'm really glad we've got to come back to Japan in autumn because it's a really beautiful season to see it. And we're going to get to see Japan in winter as well. Like, I'm looking forward to that. I'm so pumped. I can't, honestly guys, please stick with us, subscribe, watch us see Japan change seasons into winter. The snow up north and all. I'm excited. I'm just so pumped. Okay, let's go. Yeah. So 
just north of the East Gardens of the Imperial Palace. So that's what we've just walked around. Just north of here is Keita Namaru National Garden, so we're going to go check that out as well. Get your greens, greens and blues. Yeah, boy. Not yeah. that it's very blue, it's a bit grey. We're getting our greens and greys today. I mean, it was blue this morning. <laughs> it was blue, and then we went climbing, and when we came out, it was so overcast. Yeah, but we got our climb on. That was good. Feel, yeah. Feeling strong. Okay, even though that other garden's only like 15 minutes away, I, I'm, I'm quite hungry. And we've just found out that our friends are nearby, so we're gonna go get some food. We're gonna hang out and get some food. <laughs> <laughs> Priorities, right? But there is like a fork thing and a clock tower and cool stuff in that garden, but I, I know myself, I know I need to eat. You get hangry. I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. And it, like, it's, nobody's, got, nobody's having a good time when Keely's hungry. Hey players! Hey guys, you us? Hello! Bamboo forest, can we go bamboo forest? Okay, so I didn't know what the Imperial Palace looked like. I'm not gonna lie, I'm still not fully positive what it looks like. <laughs> I think it is a big tall white building over there, uh, which you can't see past the trees. And this is like maybe some sort of guard turret or something, I'm not sure. That also looks similar style. But anyway, you can come and do tours apparently and you get to go inside here, not fully inside. You can come, get a free tour if you're here, plan it better than we did. And uh, yeah, I need food. <laughs> really? I need food. Guys, I don't know if you know, but you know, this girl needs food. Food? <laughs> Uh. My donut came in a box. Open it, let me see your donut. Oh, that's sensual. Oh my goodness, it's so girly, it's so cute. Heaven on earth. So Heaven on earth. It's so good. None for you. What? <laughs> Get back here. Good morning everybody. Welcome to another day in Tokyo. It is ridiculously sunny today. I feel like I'm gonna have to get my sunnies out. But today is culture day in Japan and we've been staying with our friends and they're all off work today, which means we're gonna get to go and have some fun. I'm, I'm feeling quite happy today guys because I've already had two morning coffees. <laughs> Let's go. So obviously Philly and I don't have bikes, but luckily in Japan you can like rent bikes. So these guys have got an app on their phone and they preserved this bike. We've come to collect one. There's another one a few stations over that Philly and Sean are way to collect. You got a bike? These are legit. I'm a bit apprehensive about riding a bike, not gonna like it. Uh, yeah, flick it up. I can't make it move. You can stop filming now guys, I told you this would go wrong. <laughs> for a cycle down by the Megaro River, probably saying that wrong. It's super beautiful. I cannot believe it's November right now. The leaves are all starting to change colours, the sun is shining. Because it's culture day, there are loads of people out and I'm quite a nervous cyclist at the best times, but I'm not going to lie, there's a lot of people on these streets. Yeah, it's just a super beautiful cycle. It's been a good wee day out. And guys, I even turned off my pedal assist. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. It was all flat. Shut up. There was no uphills <laughs> whatsoever. Shh. <laughs> So impressive. It is. Some exercise is nice. Yeah, it's been fun. This is for you to high five me. Don't leave me hanging. Not the camera. Yay! Yay. Let's go. I do that. So you push that. No, you pull that thing, that little thing down. The white thing. Pull it back. Pull the white thing back. Not that. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go meet our friend Mesa. She is our Japanese friend, Tokyo local, who has always showed us an amazing time when we came to visit. So this is a cool little local area. It's got good cafes and bars and stuff called Koenji. So she's gonna go show us some local Tokyo good times. Hi. 
place in Gwendy called Pal Arcade and apparently, thanks Mesa, she's telling me that it has got streets like all different directions with loads of different shops. So we're gonna go find somewhere, get some food, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gwendy appears to have like a mad selection of cool alternative shops, so definitely recommend come check in here out. No, this one is the one. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually vibing that t shirt. Yeah, 4,000 yen. Mm, maybe not. I don't mind. There's cats on the field. Very cute. <laughs> We found a vegan place just around the corner from this PAL shopping arcade thing. And guys, it's got all the vibes. It's super got cute. Katie's favourite. Got mulled wine. I'm, I'm getting the festive vibes and it's only like the 3rd of November. It's really, it's like Christmas vibes. Yeah, in. It's, it's really cool. I'm very excited for they the food. They also look like they do some awesome food here as well. Yeah, it looks so good. Ooh. Hi, Misa. <laughs> 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 I mean, not happy. Always happy when I have food. Absolutely full of food. Shocker. 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 Guys, we're in an earthquake. Like, actually, in one. Like, the plants are moving. Everything's moving. The ground is shaking. I, I thought they were joking me. It's still going. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's still going. They're, we're literally in an earthquake. <laughs> the food here is good, man. Definitely come check out. I'll drop a map location pin in the description because vegan food isn't that easy to come across in Tokyo. There are lots of places, but finding a good one is awesome. There you go. I, I tried. <laughs> so, Quenji has so many like little outdoor bars. There's these two streets that we've been walking down. Just loads of little places that you can come and sit. And it's definitely got very alternative vibes, I have to say. Yo, what a day. It's been a pretty chocolate day. It has, it's been yeah. fun. It's just been so nice hanging out with friends and, and people we haven't seen for years. Yeah, it's good. It's nice to have people that speak Japanese <laughs> as well because they can show us where all the cool spots are. Yeah. You know, because we can just like, we're walking past these buildings being like, oh, cool building, cool building. But then they lead us into like the back of a room and it's some really cool bar. Yeah, <laughs> we'd have no idea. Coins is cool. Definitely, oh, there's definitely somebody gonna run over us. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's Quincy's cool. Definitely, it's very underrated. You hear a lot about these more mainstream areas like Shimakitazawa and Tarajuku and yeah. Shibuya and all that, that kind of stuff, but there's loads of these kind of little underground branches. Yeah, this is a cool district very alternative loads of little like all the shops are quite small it's like pre-industrial feeling almost i definitely recommend coming and checking this area out great food great night scene loads of really friendly people and this has been good yeah we'll catch you next time see you next time bye, bye.